Hi, I'm David Mayer, a Senior Technical Project Manager here at Fictive, and welcome to the CNC DFM Masterclass Module 2 Overview Video. This module will teach you all about the concepts, tips, and tricks needed to make a part that's not only manufacturable, but cheaper, quicker, and less risky to machine. This module builds on Module 1, so if you haven't watched that already, you should go ahead and start there. In the first module, we talked about what least effort for CNC manufacturing is. However, using least effort to design for parts isn't always feasible as pretty much anything worth doing requires something a little more. This module will walk you through what design choices you can make that actually drive manufacturing effort beyond the minimum. The main factors that drive effort are look and feel, material, part size, geometric complexity, and tight tolerances. Geometry, tight tolerances, and part size generally have a greater impact on effort than the material or look and feel requirements. However, taking any one attribute to an extreme can drive a significant amount of effort. Effort will also compound if there are multiple requirements. For example, manufacturing effort can increase exponentially if you start adding tighter tolerances to a larger part. But first, let's look at what each individual attribute can do to a design. Manufacturing effort from materials is driven by the machinability of that material, which is often a function of things like the material's hardness, chip formation, and thermal conductivity. To compensate, a machinist will either need very specific and likely slower speeds and feeds, or more expensive specialty tools that can better handle the material. Geometric complexity is usually driven by the number of setups needed to reach each side of a part. Geometric features like compound curves, small and deep pockets, or thin walls will also drive effort, as they're gonna require either additional passes or slower than normal passes on the machine to make a good part. The effort required to hit tight tolerances can manifest in many ways, but the main one is once again having to run the machine slower, in this case to reduce cutting forces and get a more accurate part. The larger the surface area that needs a tight tolerance, the longer the machine has to run for. Large parts can require a lot of effort to machine simply because of their size and weight. If the stock material is so big that it needs a crane to lift, or if the part's so big that it won't fit on a normal sized mill, then the cost of handling and the cost of the machine needed to make the part can go up pretty significantly. Small parts are not necessarily easier either. They're easier to crush in a vise, they require much more focus when handling, and the tiny tools needed to machine them are much easier to break and have to be run just that much more carefully. Finally, requirements related to the look and feel of a part may seem trivial relative to hardened metals and giant blocks of steel. However, not paying attention to them can cause a significant amount of effort to creep into your design. The biggest issue you can run into is adding fillets everywhere on a part, specifying only the surfaces that need a smooth surface finish or that need cosmetic radii is a great way to minimize the effort needed to make your part. That covers the overview of Module 2 in this DFM Masterclass. Be sure to read the rest of the full module for all of the examples, information, and fully fleshed out details.